you're awake. G Ginger, it's too early for this. I know. Here we are at the crack of noon and I just can't get back to sleep. All I can think about is biscuits and gravy. What you mean biscuits and gravy? Well, not just any biscuits and gravy. I mean Nana Ginger's bitchin' biscuits and gravy. <laughs> Welcome to the very first episode of Wigs and a Blanket. I'm Ginger Minge. And I'm Jiggly Caliente. May I call you Jiggly? No. And uh, today we're going to be making some delicious biscuits and gravy. I'm so hungry. Please start. All right, so we're going to start with two cups of flour, which we have already dumped mm -hmm. into our, our lovely dump dish right here. <laughs> dump dish. We are very professional, just so y'all know. Very then we're going to move on to two teaspoons of baking powder. Are you sure there's baking powder in there? Ooh, look how nice that looks. That's so gorgeous. So after the baking powder, we're gonna add a half teaspoon of baking soda. Are you sure there's baking soda in there? It's diet soda. <laughs> and it's gonna be really Yeah, because we really drink diet soda. Well, I do. I like the taste. <laughs> One teaspoon of sugar. The uh, Hispanics call it azucar. One teaspoon of salt right here. Salt lake. Salt. Girl, all you got to do, and we need a teaspoon of salt. Just give me a tear or two in there. You're the saltiest person I know. <laughs> all right, so what you want to do, take a fork, just a fork like this, a nice little dangle hopper. You're just going to go in there and just swoosh it around a little bit. Swish, okay. swish. That's our dry mix right there, our dry rub. Uh -huh. That's the rub, it's the chub rub right there. Then we're going to add in a half uh -huh. a stick of butter, melt it in the microwave, just allow it to, to like chill out, you know, second, on the yeah. counter, just for a second. You don't want it to get too cool, but you don't want it to be too warm either. I'm convinced if we uh, slit Jiggly's wrists open, this is what would come from. <laughs> Give that a quick little little schmutz around. Right there. Oh, look how nice that looks. So it's okay to get clumpy a little bit? Well, you want it to be clumpy. Okay. It's kind of like our thighs, you know? When it resembles the texture of Jiggly's thighs, it should be ready. Look at the old cheese curds. All right, and then my secret ingredient right here. This is a good one cup serving of a very inexpensive, delightful beer. Oh, oh, look how it bubbles up. Wait, beer for breakfast? Seriously? Yeah, it's got yeast in it. Or as Alyssa Edwards calls it, yeast! Oh my God. <laughs> you just wanna mix this all up. It's gonna get foamy and frothy and beautiful and delightful. Okay, so it's supposed to be like sticky. It should be sticky. You yeah. wanna try it? No. Why not? No, I don't eat it's a little butter and beer. It's a butter beer. It's no. like Harry Potter. So after you get your pre-lubed, pre-greased pan over here, you're gonna put it into view of the camera so everyone can see it clearly. Do you need the ice cream scoop? No. Okay. No, you don't. You don't even need to measure it out. You're just gonna start dropping these on here. And, oh, it's gonna be so good. That's why these are called a good old-fashioned Southern Drop Biscuit. It's gonna take you a minute. So we're gonna fast forward through this. Enjoy. <sighs> well, that took a while. You're going to pop them into your 400 degree preheated oven and cook them for about 15 minutes or until they, they fluff up just a little when they're golden brown. Jigglesworth, would you do that gotcha. for me? Thank you. You love gravy. Sure of do. course you do. I love it's like going through my veins. <laughs> so we're going to start with a 16 ounce tube of good breakfast pork sausage. I can put that in my mouth. I know you can. I've seen it. You're like an anaconda, and we don't want none. All right. You just want to cut the end off of that sausage and squeeze it into your skillet. Oh, listen to that sizzle. All you do is take your fork, just smoosh that sausage on down, get it all nice and smooshed in there. Have you ever had biscuits and gravy? Yes. Where? Okay, um, the person who put me on to biscuits and gravy was Fifi. Yeah? Yeah, and I was like, um, That's surprising, because she only eats chicken fingers, just so you know. She has a palate of a fucking five yeah. year old. And it tasted so good ever since I've been hooked. Well, Southern breakfast is really, it's just starch upon starch upon starch with oh. a pinch of protein. It's so good. Like, how can you not love it? I, but you get up in the morning, you make biscuits and gravy, you eat them, and you're freaking tired. You just want to go right back to sleep. All right, now that that's good and brown, it doesn't need to be completely cooked because it's going to continue to cook yeah. within the gravy. But you want to make sure it, it's got a, a nice brown to it. So then what we're going to do is we're going to add our butter. You're going to do 
uh, one full stick. We have half sticks here. So we're gonna put in one and melt that down for just a moment. Oh, God, it's so good, right? You know, that looks like a lot of butter. I think we're gonna just leave it at that stick. For Are you sure? What well, hell, put it in. <laughs> this <is> butter. <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be good. Yeah. It's gonna give you the beaties. <laughs> Case of the sugars. <laughs> Clog them arteries. So then we're gonna take our quarter cup of flour, just all purpose flour. You don't have to sift it, we don't get into that. You're just gonna dump that right on top. Don't we'll get all that in there. We need it. The more starch you get, the better this will taste. So just mix that flour on into your sausage and, and butter. So what you want to do, you want to let this mixture just kind of cook just down. Just leave it at that. Fuck that up there. <laughs> but you want, it, you want it to cook down. You want the butter to brown. You want the, the flour taste to kind of cook out. To dissipate. Uh -huh. Yeah. Dissipate. That's a big word. Told you. I'm proud of it. Dissipate. Data pay. Data couch. Data director. <laughs> data camera. Data camera. <laughs> While that's cooking down, you want to go and check your biscuit. See how that's coming at all? They are looking delicious. Now that we know our biscuits are browning well, mm -hmm. we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna add three cups of milk to, to our mixture okay. right here. Add it slowly while I stir. Okay. I'm sure that is what our arteries look like. Oh my God. You know it is. Probably. So while we're waiting on this to come to a boil, go ahead and salt and pepper to taste. Okay. I, I like a lot of pepper. So I'm not even gonna do, I'm just gonna shake something like that. Oh, it's so good. All right, while well, that's gonna come to a boil and cook and all that, let's go ahead and take our biscuits out of the oven, set them to the side so those can start cooling. All right, so after we've brought the gravy to a bowl, uh -huh. we're gonna turn it down about halfway. We're gonna just let it simmer and sit for a couple of minutes till it thickens up. We're going to add my secret ingredient. Okay. Yeah, that's why I asked if you like spicy food. We have this nondescript, beautiful, hot chili sauce right here. Uh huh. Mmm, smells delightful. And you're just gonna, you just put a pinch of it in. Just like that. A whisper. Right in the middle. All right. So while that's gonna continue to cool just a little bit more, let's go ahead and plate up our biscuits. Okay. That'll be fun. Grab those. Grab some plates. Bring them on over here, Gail. I got you. I mean, the reason we make the biscuits this way, we don't want a big thick biscuit, because I hate when you cut them in half, you lose all of that uh, fluffiness inside. Uh -huh. So you're gonna take two biscuits, that one, just lay it there, uh -huh. and just prop the other one right up on top of it. On top of it? Yeah, go use your hands, it's southern cooking. You ain't got to be like that. Now that our gravy's ready, just go ahead and give yourself a nice generous portion. Are you ready to eat it? Yeah. Are you ready to try this? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's good, right? This is one of those kind of sinful snacks that you like to eat in private. <laughs> okay. yeah, you can cry the whole time. Like, oh. <laughs> and I shouldn't eat this as much as I do. I shouldn't enjoy this as much oh as I God. do, but it's so good. so good. We're gonna go ahead and enjoy our delicious breakfast of biscuits and gravy. And make sure you get the entire recipe in our box below. It's gonna be fun. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Share with your friends. Till next time, this is Ginger. And I'm Jay And this has been Wigs in a Blanket. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.